All right. You read the title. You know the day and you know the lift. Of course, I'm still going to explain it. Fucking chest day. Gosh darn it. It's only 10 o'clock. Pretty good for me. So, same as usual. Uh, love going heavy in the beginning. And then, you know, after I get some really heavy pressing movements done, then I can be a little bit more flexible with my exercise choice. Right? Like, you definitely want to start off reasonably fresh into a heavy bench or a heavy pressing movement. It could be whatever. Smith, barbell, dumbbell, machine press. As long as you can really push yourself, you know, failure at eight reps or so, uh, that is gonna be good for you in the beginning. Heavy compounds, moderate reps is the perfect way to start a lift. And then once you've built up some fatigue by doing that, you know, I feel pretty comfortable doing lighter movements, like maybe, uh, well, not lighter, but uh, more isolation movements. Like for chest, I'll bust out some flies, some maybe some cable presses, uh, just to kind of really emphasize getting a squeeze, right? Because I definitely think that if I were to describe to somebody what they should do to get a pump, right? For one, I want them to do some heavy sets in the beginning, like I just fucking said. And then towards the end, right, rather than just doing heavy sets where you're just moving the weight around, uh, go a little bit lighter and really focus on squeezing. You should get some kind of burning sensation, right? But, you know, just chest should be a decently quick lift, maybe, uh, maybe 45 minutes or so. Once I, that doesn't really include the warm up. Like, I'm gonna sit at the cables for maybe 10 minutes, just kind of getting my shoulders and everything warm. I've definitely noticed that ever since I started doing that, I've not tweaked my shoulders or my elbows or whatever so often. You know, I still get hurt every now and again, but what are you gonna do? You know, if, you, if you don't wanna get hurt, don't go to the gym. But you can mitigate it as long as your form isn't completely atrocious. So, pretty straightforward. With this little intro, let's fucking, let's go smash chest. It should feel like nothing. I think I'll just stick to 365. Like, I can kind of throw four or five around, but, you know, it, it'd only be for like six reps. So it's kind of fun as a novelty, but in terms of your volume, like per set, six is a bit low, right? I like at least eight, you know, at most maybe 20, 25. Obviously lower reps towards the beginning, higher towards the end. So 365 should be good for Maybe 12 or something. I don't know. All right, so I didn't do too much barbell, so I should be able to get at least 15 reps with the dumbbells. We don't have to fucking see.
I think I'm gonna move on. So I know barbell bench is still gonna feel good. Right? So I don't mind like leaving it, going to do the dumbbells, and then coming back with lighter weight. So let's just fucking wrap it out. with a lot of flies. I've been doing a lot of pressing based chest workouts. I feel like I want to change it up a little. So with these flies, obviously I want to start off, you know, full range of motion, like touch my hands together, go deep, touch my hands together. But as the set progresses, like as soon as I do one rep where I can't touch my hands, I'm not done. I got more fucking strength in the tank. So I feel like just pushing through those partial reps is gonna give you some more damage, or well, let's just say more intensity. And I swear I get a better pump. Let's do some, uh, some something. Decent little variation to throw in. It's like bent over, cable press. Uh, there are mach there's machines like this where you sit down and you got the cables on either side of you. I prefer that, but I like this too. So I think I'll do uh, two sets of these, maybe a drop set on the second one. Minor lie, saying I was gonna move on to just, you know, flies. Uh, but I know that this chest press is about to feel pretty good. So I'll do a set of this and then finish with a set of cable flies. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. Last set. Start off with, you know, normal set, just cross body right in front of me. Then I'll drop the weight, bend over, and do some flies like this. It just feels different. You know, a lot of this shit sort of, you know, it targets the same muscle, but it's just a different kind of feeling, which I, you know, you'll just get, you'll just get a hold of, uh, you know, the idea just from experience trying new shit. Check the pump, holy shit. Oh. Okay, so heavy bench, decently heavy flies, a few cable variations. Let's fucking see what happened. It feels pretty fucking good. That is fucked up. In a good way. You're not supposed to be veiny on a bulk. Fuck. I gotta eat more food. Whoa. Whoa. You be careful if you do that kind of like hold your breath flex. You can fucking pass out. Legitimate risk. But yeah, I mean, you're just sitting here pulling my fucking chest back. Like, it's so fucking tight. Oh. So, definitely proud of that lift. Huh. Spent all day studying. It's fucked up. Last thing I want to do is just sit behind a desk, you know. My ideal day pre-lift is like wake up, cardio, come back, eat, sleep. Eat and sleep a couple more times, and then go to the gym later that evening. That would be ideal. But... Only a few more days left. I'm gonna really focus on the lifting. So let's, uh, let's finish gaps and get in the fucking car. <laughs> I didn't really get a good look at it in the camera. That's fucked up. That's pretty good. All right. So chest success. Super good pump. Wind heavy. What else can you ask for? So. I've got some more fucking homework to do before 9 o'clock a.m. tomorrow. So, I don't know. Ugh. That's a problem for me in 30 minutes. Current me now gets to relax. So, slam the shake. Then we can get out of here. Uh. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Mm. Really hits the spot. I'm not really a huge fan of sipping on it. I just want to get it down to be done, you know. 
ideally that's how you pretty much hit every meal right you kind of sit down you focus as quick as possible should help you should help you get more calories in oh so in terms of power building i got a couple comments asking about that or like you know how do you how do you build up your your bench strength or your squat strength and for the most part all i've ever done was just benching and squatting you know i think if you actually do sets in the beginning of the lift that are at least approaching legit failure right like with a compound lift like a squat or a bench you know when you cannot get another one uh, like it's not like a a pec fly where you can still do partials <laughs> uh, like if you fail if you know you're about to fail a squat or a bench and you don't have a spotter that shit's going back on the rack and just by doing heavy sets like that you know like eight reps to start and as long as you're eating your protein you know and getting uh getting enough calories in you'll just build strength slowly over time i mean i haven't ever since the beginning of lifting uh we're coming up on like five years now i didn't bulk or cut at all the first uh like the first basically three and a half years it was pretty much just make sure i hit my protein you know i was doing like 250 grams protein per day even back when i was like 180 because uh, you know i'd rather do too much than too little uh, and then i would just make sure to go in the gym and go hard you know i take my vitamins and creatine uh, i didn't take pre-workout for a while uh, nobody really explained to me that it had legitimate benefit that took me a little, a little bit to find out later on but yeah, so basically from about 160 pounds to I was getting up around like 200 uh, after that like three and a half years, that was all just pretty much slow growth over time, uh, just from eating a little bit above maintenance. So, I mean, in that sense, you know, I'd, I'm a supporter of main gaining, nothing wrong with it. But then again, now, you know, I'm more so a proponent of dedicated bulks and then you know cuts to kind of balance it out so uh, as long as you eat your protein you eat enough food and you go in the gym and you go hard you will build muscle slowly over time fact now is it gonna be faster for you to do like a four-month dedicated bulk where you really like like you you gain like maybe 10 or or like maybe eight or ten percent body fat and then you know a bit of muscle mass underneath of that and then you peel off the fat during a dieting phase afterwards I, it's gonna be up to you I mean either way the most important thing is gonna be your training right if you eat a bunch of food you'll gain weight you know, you'll just gain fat uh, but you know, if you uh, let's just take it to the extremes if I were to tell someone if they, if they wanted to gain weight to just start eating more food or to start lifting weights and just eat the same amount of food that they eat, the lifting weights is going to fucking do it, right? You can eat as much food as you want, but if you don't have a stimulus for growth, which is the training, then nothing's going to happen. You're just going to just going to get tubby. Obviously, nobody wants to. Well, some people want to get big in that sense insert Nikocado avocado reference <laughs> but uh that's certainly not my demographic of viewers so yeah i mean main point i'm trying to say here is like what if you don't want to bulk just make sure you hit your protein you uh you know take your pre-workout your creatine your vitamins you try to sleep well and if you lift hard consistently for like a couple of months you'll just kind of become a more athletic machine Okay, maybe not athletic, but uh, let's just say stronger, right? Like, even though I like I look super big and shit, I'm not athletic right now at all. <laughs> I am like highly unathletic. <laughs> so everything's super tight. But yeah, end of the day, first thing you should prioritize is your training intensity. <laughs> uh, that's, that's pretty much all I'm trying to say there. God damn it. So yeah, I'm... God damn, dude. 
So my gym, the music is so fucking loud. And I've talked to the owners about it. I'm like, you guys turn this shit down? They never do it. it. Makes me lose my mind. Like, for two reasons. Because, obviously, I don't want to hear, like, blaring rock. And then I have to turn up my headphones to listen over it. And then, you know, the mic, is, the mic that I'm fucking wearing is going to pick it up. And I'll have to, like, mute some clips unless I want to get copyrighted. Whenever, like, a clip gets muted, it's not because, like, I don't want to hear, I don't want you to hear me, like, fart or something. It's just because, uh, you know, uh, Dragon Force was playing too loudly, and YouTube gave me a copyright strike. <laughs> so, plan for tonight, go home, watch, put Berserk on in the background, finish some, uh, Moving shockwave problems. Yeah, you don't really give a shit about that part. Uh, and then once I'm done, I gotta pass out, set my alarm for like 8.30 and go turn that shit in. And then I'm totally gonna come back to the house and just sleep more. So. Almost flipping done, man. I tell you what, this all the studying is not ideal for games. I'm still trying to fucking eat. Give me a... I'm gonna do a weight update in a couple days, but uh, I think I'm gonna keep the bulk going. I've kind of, I've kind of had a, um, I guess I would describe the last like two weeks as just like maintenance. Like I haven't been fucking eating enough food because I've been so fucking busy. Well, I haven't been prioritizing my meals. That's the real take. You know, it's on me. But I, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised to see spring bulk day 150. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how long we'll push it. I mean, I'm definitely not, not too soft. So, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to freaking see. So, cardio in the morning. I'll probably sleep more and then do the cardio more like at noon or something. But 30 minutes on whatever machine you like. Treadmill, seated bike, elliptical, doesn't matter. All you're trying to do is raise your heart rate. Right? So my gauge of it is like 30 minutes, set it to a difficulty where the machine will say you're burning about 10 calories per minute. So by the end of the 30, you should have burned like 300. Maybe do a little bit less than that if that seriously gasses you. But it's really not that hard. Like, when I go to the gym to do cardio, I, I don't need to get hyped up. All I'm doing is I go in there and I play Clash Royale for 30 minutes. And I, uh... I get mad when they fucking spam emotes after I lose. So. Homework, bed. No, homework, vitamins, food, bed. Back day tomorrow. Uh, if tomorrow's back day is anything like the last back day I had, then I am in for a treat. Because the last back day was a frightening pump. So. I'll see you next time, man. I'm out. <laughs>